are lean mass hyperresponders truly an exception when it comes to LDL cholesterol and heart disease? In short, it appears not. They are not an exception. I have an episode coming out on this very soon. As many of you will recall, I've had Nick Norwitz and Dave Feldman on the show to better understand their research and their hypotheses. To re-familiarize you here, they are interested in people who adopt a ketogenic diet who experience very large increases in LDL cholesterol and ApoB, but are otherwise healthy. Does this pose a risk? Their hypothesis being that it doesn't. Interestingly, just a few weeks ago, they published a recent study, which despite their commentary and the media's commentary, really confirms that this group of people are not low risk. Over just 12 months, many subjects in their study experienced rapid progression of atherosclerosis, with the median increase in non-calcified plaque volume being 18.33 millimeters cubed, which is almost four times greater than what's been observed in healthy individuals in other studies. Shockingly, while not clearly reported, figure two in their paper suggests that around half of these lean mass hyperresponder subjects appear to have an increase in non-calcified plaque volume of over 50 millimeters cubed. If I was a subject in this study and my plaque was progressing at this rate, I would A, change my diet urgently, and then see where my ApoB and LDL cholesterol fell to, and consider taking lipid-lowering medication if I wasn't able to get within the optimal range. As I alluded, the authors put quite the spin on the results, trying to make them seem favorable for lean mass hyperresponders. But despite this spin, when you double-click on their data, it seems that they have proven their very hypothesis to be false. And now given that there's been great backlash to the way they communicated their results, you know, really backlash to a degree that I've never seen, all we can do is wait and hope that they have the scientific integrity to acknowledge this. I am absolutely excited to share an exclusive offer with the Proof community. This is a limited time offer just for my audience and no doctor referral is needed. Function Health is a comprehensive at-home blood testing service that gives you access to over 100 biomarkers, covering everything from heart, liver, kidney, and metabolic health to hormone levels, inflammation, and nutrient status. That, my friends, is five times more testing than the average physical. I chose Function for my own blood work and to be a sponsor of this show because they are the best in the world when it comes to helping you understand and own your health. It's true, the depth and quality of their testing is unrivaled. And as regular listeners of this show will know, you cannot optimize what you don't measure. Don't guess, test. Use Function to know exactly where your health is today and then intervene with evidence-based medicine and lifestyle changes to feel your best and reduce your risk of chronic disease. With Function, you get access to very important markers like LP little a, a genetically driven cardiovascular risk factor, ApoB, the most predictive marker of atherosclerosis, and LH and FSH, reproductive hormones typically missing from standard lab panels. It's not uncommon for these biomarkers and others to be elevated. For example, over 50% of Function members have an ApoB level, and over 20% have an LPA little level that is above the optimal range. You can even add on harder to access tests like cystatin C, a very sensitive marker of kidney function, as well as selenium and iodine nutrients that are essential for thyroid and overall health, yet rarely tested. So what are you waiting for? Run over to functionhealth.com forward slash Simon Hill today and be one of 1000 listeners to score a $100 credit. That's functionhealth.com forward slash Simon Hill. 